Hey guys, once again I'm going to be playing for Extra Life this year. Uh, before we go on to why I'm playing for Extra Life, let me just give a really big thanks to um, our donors from last year, Noni, Dan and Kate, um, David and Kendra. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, as you know, I play for Johns Hopkins Children's hey. Center, and this money makes so much of a difference to so many kids. Um, my particular story is uh, my oldest daughter, uh, when she was first born, she had to have a surgery right there at Johns Hopkins, and then a couple years later she had another surgery, and both times saved her life. So any amount that you can donate really means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching this, and I hope you enjoy whatever I'm just about to play. Bye. It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Eric, and I'm playing uh, Civ 6 multiplayer. And there we go. Alright, this is one of my uh, Germany games, as you can see. Let's see what they've got hiding here. They've got a Spearman. Alright, where did I want to found? <coughs> so here I'll have a lot of tiles overlapped with um with these guys but that could potentially give me lots of bonuses so we're going to do that let's found a city here okay this is berlin step into our build order thing here <coughs> all right this one is dark age all right Let's see what we have available to build in Berlin. Okay, so. We've got the campus, the commercial hub, the entertainment complex, government plaza, granaries, monuments. So as of right now, we don't have any um, sea areas to build. Alright. So, they're recommending a commercial hub or a campus. I'm surprised they're not recommending an entertainment complex, but maybe because no amenities are needed at the moment, but Ulm seems to need them. So, what if we made one here that could kind of be shared by everybody? Because some of the things they have a radius where they affect stuff with their amenities. So here potentially could get three different cities. Let this be my amenity city. Um, and free up some of my other cities from having to worry about that stuff. Alright. So my warrior was attacked. Yes, I could figure that. Achi needs more housing. Yep. Um, okay, wait, what? Sure, I'll take that. Um... Did Dan propose a deal? I thought I saw something there. I didn't see anything. Okay, where is he anyways? I forget. Ah, I guess he just came scouting by or something. Alright. All right, we'll just go this way. Save that game. Move on to the next one. Which is one of my America games. Alright, so um, this weekend I was at um, Farpoint 2019. It's my first time ever going to a uh, science fiction and fantasy convention. Uh, I'd been to uh, Baltimore Comic Con quite a few times. Um, you can see the coverage on uh, comicpow.com, my uh, comics criticism website um, that uh, Dan and I started uh, seven years ago, eight years ago at this point. Um, but 
yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was neat uh, to go there and um, see all that stuff. Uh, be with other other science fiction. Uh, other science fiction uh, fans. All right. Let's see. All right. So I was gonna put one here. They say put one there. That is good enough for me. Just like uh, C being for cookie. All right. Charleston. Want to build a monument next? It's very cold outside. So I'm a little. That was a little runny at the moment. Just came back from eating out. And my son, my three year old, Sam, um, must have eaten a whole goddarn octopus, man, the way he was chowing on calamari. Anyway, um, the convention was really cool. It was a lot of great panels. Very small convention, which was nice. It was kind of interesting to keep running into the same folks over and over again. Um, they had their own version of like Cash Cab. Unfortunately, we lost when we tried to double for nothing. Um, double or nothing. I don't know. I use it in a sentence that way. Um, I, went, I got to meet uh, Rob Paulson and uh, Maurice LaMarche, which was awesome. That was the highlight of my convention. And... Um, I see them in a panel. Uh, Wallace Shawn was there too. His panel was really cool. Alright, Clone has built an archer. Put him right here on alert. Alright, we'll just keep exploring right behind the Chinese over here. <coughs> Alright, I was going to do a granary. Oops, Achen. Achen, I was going to do a library. Right, I'm going to do some melee units next, see if I can uh, take out the Chinese before they get too big. And while there's still less of a Penalty for just starting a war. All right. The cash cab game, even though we lost the cash, we got this uh, scalp massager. Kind of looks like a weird whisk um, as our, uh, whatchamacallit, consolation prize. Uh, also, I found out that uh, there, someone's trying to organize Worldcon to be in D.C. in a couple years. That'd be pretty awesome because I was just thinking, Worldcon's really expensive, and to have to go to another city and get a hotel as well it makes it... Like one of those things where my wife's gonna be like, nope, we could go on vacation instead. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. I think it would be different if she was also into science fiction and fantasy, but she is not. Um, do I keep on the sailing route? Let's keep on the sailing route, why not? All right, um, you know what, just for the sake of it, let's do a little exploration this way. All right, uh, let's just put you on alert. Uh, where were you headed? Okay, cool. I say here, they say there. Close enough, I think. Plus this will get me some iron. 
So I guess let's have you actually come this way to protect them from barbarians. Washington. Ship stuff I wrote. So lighthouse. Excellent. Now he can get fish. Okay. Uh, you can just uh, sleep there for now. Oops. I guess we can have another trade route. So anyway, that's exciting that we might be able to have um, Worldcon here in DC. And um, the lady he was putting it together was telling me that she's got a contingent contract with the hotel where they'll basically have the entire hotel, or the run of the entire hotel. So that sounds super exciting. Um, You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Uh, for me, what was really cool is meeting a lot of the authors there. Um, there was an author that had, let me see if I have it up here. She's a local author, lives near near me, pretty close, like within 10 minutes from me. Um, the Steel Empires. Um, is it Steel Empires? Yeah, Steel Empires. Um, she she was in an alternate history panel and so she has alternate history as her thing it's like a roman times alternate history where they have vampires and werewolves darn i feel a sneeze i felt a sneeze but it didn't come out i hate that delhi terracotta army did i do that i will do that do it right there my sore military units let's go for a uh, heavy chariot all right so this was the game where i completely forgot that i could just ask dave for open borders i just got pissed at him for not being able to pass here and so i declared war so that's a thing. I'd prefer if I get this uh, building versus um, Dan, because then Dan would have me on both sides, which would be kind of sucky, but you know, it happens. All right, you, I'm gonna skip your turn for a minute because I don't have any units I can spare to just go um, protect you everywhere. Uh, why don't you come this way? <coughs> Okay. Let's come over here. Wow, he's got quite a movement. A lot of movement points there. Must have got a promotion at some point. Okay. Warrior. Okay. How about you? Where are you going? Let's go over here. You're on your way somewhere. Why don't you go up there? Or up there? I don't know. Uh, you. Okay, that's cool. Alright, next turn. Someone's running around. Alright, save that game. Last one. So anyway, this uh, Steel Empire series sounds pretty cool. There's another one I really wanted to talk about. I don't remember if I took um, one of her cards. Let me see if I can find it here. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shore. If I took a thing for her, I can't find it, but it was um, Mary Fan. Um, she's a New Yorker, uh, I believe. No, uh, she's from Jersey, right outside of New York. Uh, and she's writing a series of um, science fiction books. I cannot imagine any condition. Um, some of them featuring... Um, Um, Asian characters, heavily featuring Asian characters, some of them heavily featuring, featuring um, very intelligent females. 
Um, it's... I... What? I did not mean to do that, but it happened. Yes, it happened. Okay, you still be alive. That's good. Plus, he'll be kind of protected in the city. Uh, can he attack him? No. No. Hmm. Dave is starting to get some stronger units. Let's go attack him. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Alright, let's wait there for now. Gosh darn it, Dave actually built up a military. Alright. <sighs> yeah, why not pottery? Alright, submit that turn. Um, anyway, so Mary Fan, let me see if I could, she's in a fighting group called the Crazy Eights or something like that, let me see, Crazy, Crazy Eight, Mary Fan, um, alright, here we go, I found it. Strangely enough, maryfan.com. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, Starswept. She has this novel called Starswept about um, some alien race that really likes human um, musicians and, and um, exploits them. That one, that one looked really cool. Um, and she's got uh, her kids series was called like Geek Girls or something like that. I can't remember, but it was uh, anyway. I. I'm excited to check out some of her novels as well. So, yeah, uh, Farpoint was a good, fun convention, and uh, that was cool. But anyway, this is not for me to do Farpoint stuff. This is uh, Eric, and I've been playing Civ 6, and I'll see you next time. Bye.